Hi Jim, it's a 1-1 draw here at Capelow today in the Renfrewshire Derby. Can I get your thoughts on the, the match and the result please? Yeah, extremely difficult match. Um, St Mirren, a team full of confidence just now, particularly after beating the day United 2-0 at the weekend and, and going five points clear at the top. So they started the game very brightly and um, they, they got a grip of the game really and we just had to make sure that uh, you know we stayed in it really at that stage. Um, we sat off them too much, they had a little bit more energy than us um, and we just had to hang on until half time. Half time came, um, we managed to push the players up a little bit, got on the second balls. We were the team then on the ascendancy and um, you know the team that looked most likely after that and I think we probably deserved equaliser. You mentioned maybe the slow start the first half, would you put that down there and maybe the, the Barton game being cancelled and a couple no. of games? No. No, not at all. It was the, the fact that we were playing a good team, <laughs> who, are, who are playing with full of confidence. You know, they, they've come out, started passing the ball about, and all you can do at that stage is you, you can't do anything other than remain organised and work hard and try and make sure that they don't capitalise on the possession that they have. And by and large, we protected um, Derek uh, very, you know, a lot in the goal. He didn't have too much to do, although they, they were controlling possession. And that's really what you've got to do and try and turn games around. There's very few games in this division where a team dominates for 90 minutes. With that, you've changed it in the second half, you've turned it around and, and dominated, you were the most likely team to go on and win it. Yeah. People eyes quite late on. Yeah, I mean, it was a, a terrific uh, ball in from, from young Tiff and a uh, great, great header from Tom. And, uh, you know, he was, he's, he's been a player that was prolific last year. He's been a little bit unlucky this, this season with two or three headers. Probably should have done better by his own, his own standards. But uh, it was, a, a, you know, a goal that gave us again a platform to maybe go on and win it after that. And, um, you know, we had a, two or three great balls across the face of the goal. And we're just looking for that, that final uh, last touch. Unfortunately, it didn't come our way. But I think over the balance of play, I think a point each was probably a fair result. Few penalty decisions, maybe one on Bob McHugh quite mm. late on. Was there any frustration in that, or what was your view on? Yeah, we're well, frustrated with a couple of them. I think one was, was Tom as well. I think it looked as if he was hauled down, and, and one from Bob. But uh, listen, the referee doesn't give them, so you know you have to just go on with it. Um, but um, yeah, it was it was a, a situations where they, they could have been you know pivotal if, if you do get them. But as I said, you know the second half, I think we, we certainly deserved the, the point. I think the players showed terrific commitment and desire to get back into the game. Um, they regrouped uh, and um, shown that you know on our day, as I said, we're up, we can match any team in the division. And I thought defensively, I thought we were we were really good today. And I thought like of Michael Doyle against Lewis Morgan it was a great contest. Um, Morgan's a terrific young player, but Doyle has stuck to his task. And you know we didn't double up on him too much because we felt that Michael could could cope with that. And I think that was something that um, you know worked quite well for us. Even though Morgan scored, uh, it was more to do with uh, picking up the second ball. So overall, um, you're always wanting to win th uh, the game and get the three points. But uh, I think uh, a point's a decent result. You mentioned the defensive performance. That was the only change you made today. Was bringing Ricky Lamy back in for Luke mm. Gasparro. Was that just a tactical? Was that? Yeah. Well, to be fair, Ricky's been one of our top performers all season, and I think he missed one game through suspension. I think it'd been very hard. I mean, Thomas have been. A really good partnership, and uh, although Lucas came in and done great, uh, I felt that those those two deserved to be in. Uh, it's always difficult you leave out players in, in, a, in a derby match in particular. They all want to play, but um, you know you make the call. And I think defensively today we were very sound, and you know it might be a case for a, a different for the next game. But in this particular game, I thought it was a right call to make. Overriding emotion then is it satisfaction going behind to the league leaders and taking a point? Is it? No, nah, you're never satisfied with just getting a point, really, unless you're one nothing down, maybe scoring the dying seconds. But um, I think it's um, you know a reflection. You just look at it and think we could have done things a bit better in the first half. But uh, overall, I think you've got to be relatively pleased with the point because we can show it again, fighting spirit coming back from a goal down. Um, but um, you know, a, a slight air of disappointment that we we couldn't capitalise on the the domination of the second half and maybe get the three points. Excellent, Jim. Thank you very much for your time. Well done today. Thank you.